What's going on my friends? Dustin Stelzer with Electrician U. Today we're gonna do more confusing code terms. So the first term is accessible as it applies to equipment. So code uh, in article 100 of the 2020 National Electrical Code, uh, accessible as applied to equipment, just says capable of being reached for operation, renewal and inspection. So we have a piece of equipment, right? We'll say an air conditioner is a piece of equipment. That piece of equipment needs to be accessible. So if you need to come and work on it, it needs to be in a place that is accessible not necessarily talking about within a, an enclosure or something like that or within a wall, uh, but the actual equipment that is brought and plugged in or hooked up needs to be accessible. Next is accessible as applied to wiring methods. So this is talking wiring methods about conductors and, and electrical circuitry. So it means capable of being removed or exposed without damaging the building or structure or finish and not permanently closed in by the structure or finish of the building. So say we install a receptacle, you can't like cover the receptacle with sheetrock. It needs to be accessible, right? So we need to be able to open a cover, remove something without damaging the structure to try to get into it. Next up, we have readily accessible. If you're looking in code, it's still under the A's. It just says accessible comma ready. Readily accessible means capable of being reached quickly for operation, renewal or inspections without requiring those to whom ready access is requisite, like an inspector or you know somebody that works at a place and they need to like get to something. They shouldn't have to take actions such as use tools other than a key to open something, to climb over or under anything or to remove obstacles or to resort to portable ladders and so forth. So accessible might be that you climb up a ladder and you get up on top of a roof to go do something. It's accessible. Um, readily accessible means you don't have to do anything. You don't have to like search around and climb over stuff. It's like right there, it's readily accessible to you. And since we are talking about uh, accessibility and being able to get to things, the next term is concealed. So code says concealed means that it is rendered inaccessible by the structure or finish of the building. So if we were to bury an electrical outlet in a wall and cover it over with drywall, that is concealed. Um, you would have to actually like open up the wall and do something to be able to get to it. Next up is enclosed. So there's a difference between concealed and enclosed. And this is the confusion, right? A lot of people um, might think that concealed and enclosed are the same thing and might confuse them uh, when talking about something. So enclosed means it's surrounded by a case housing, fence, or wall or walls that prevent a person from accidentally contacting energized parts. So if you have an area, you have electrical equipment that is enclosed, uh, somebody can't go in there that doesn't know what they're doing and like get electrocuted. Uh, and it might not even just be an area around electrical equipment. It might be an enclosure, like a, a box that has a cover on it or something like that that you could put a lock on or something uh, of the sort. So an enclosure is gonna prevent people from like touching uh, the live parts inside of a panel, we'll say. Then the inverse of that would be exposed. So code says exposed as applied to live parts, means capable of being inadvertently touched or approached nearer than a safe distance by a person. So you take a panel cover off, take the dead front off, somebody could just like literally go in there and trip and fall and like touch live parts, it's exposed. Then we have exposed a second time, but this exposed is applied to wiring methods. So exposed means on or attached to the surface or behind panels designed to allow access. So say we run a EMT on the outside of a wall. Well, that's, that work is considered exposed work. All right, next we have guarded. So another thing about accessibility, right? Guarding by code, covered, shielded, fenced, enclosed, or otherwise protected by means of suitable covers, casings, barriers, rails, screens, mats, or platforms to remove the likelihood of approach or contact by persons or objects to a point of danger. Kind of a similar thing as enclosing, um, but guarding is, I guess, less preventative, right? Something is just being guarded rather than being fully enclosed, closed off. All right, next we have in sight from or within sight from or within sight. A lot of times like you'll see a, a disconnecting means and it says you have to put this within line of sight 25 feet away or something like that. So where this code specifies that one equipment shall be in sight from or within sight from or within sight of and so forth, another equipment, 
The specified equipment is to be visible and not more than 50 feet distance from the other. So within line of sight, a lot of people don't know that there's that distance that's attached to it. So you might be able to see something, but if it's more than 50 feet away while you're working on it, you might not be able to notice that somebody over there is like turning power on. That's why having something within line of sight, specifically disconnecting means is really important. All right, and the last one for this video is going to be isolated, and that is as applied to a location. Isolated means not readily accessible to persons unless special means for access are used. Basically, nobody can get to this location unless somebody gives access to a location. That's considered isolated. All right, so that is it. If you haven't, check out, there's three other versions of this, part one, part two, and part three on uh, the YouTube's channel. Uh, we're gonna do a couple more of these um, coming up soon, but there's tons of different words, tons of different terms that people don't know what they mean and they have a difficult time with. So, hope you got some value out of this. Stay tuned for the next one.